Hi Facebook, we are looking live at the Soldiers Monument in Belchertown, Massachusetts. The monument is on the town green or the common here in Belchertown and it was dedicated in 1885. So if you look at what is the south face, you see the dedication to the memory of those who fought and died from this town in the rebellion. 1861 to 1865 and all soldiers now citizens of Belchertown and you see a reference to the Battle of Gettysburg scrolling up not sure not sure how great that shows up in the light but you see your fairly typical New England New England style soldier up top of the monument strolling around over to the east face we see a reference to the Battle of the Wilderness and a list of some Belchertown residents who passed away during their service. We'll go over to the North Face where you see uh, Revolutionary War soldiers who passed away during their service in reference to the Battle of Yorktown. Oh, and we see other people stopping to take a photo of the Civil War Monument, which is a fairly rare occurrence. Battle of Fair Oaks and Port Hudson. Medallion to the Grand Army of the Republic. One of the things that's uncommon about the Civil War Monument here in Belchertown is that it is made of zinc. So if you stroll over on the hillside here and tap on it, you get a nice metallic sound, and you can see the seam from where the different segments have been patched together. So this monument was built by the Monumental Bronze Company in Bridgeport, Connecticut, which made zinc cemetery monuments and Civil War monuments, and they marketed under the name White Bronze. It turns out that white bronze holds up very well if you are making cemetery style or cemetery sized monuments. It doesn't hold up quite so well if you're going to make a monument of this size. What you'll see is that over time it gets brittle in New England winters and I'm not sure how well it shows up in this video but if you look at the soldier He's listing a little bit over to his right, so not quite standing at regulation parade rest. Taking a stroll over to different aspects of the monument. And to the immediate north of the Civil War monument are Belchertown's other war memorials. This is the newest monument honoring those who served in the Middle Eastern Wars with a bronze representation of the Battlefield Cross. A flagpole with honor roll plaques for the World War, World War I. Korea. Belchertown's Bicentennial. Some fallen from World War I and World War II in Korea and Vietnam. And an honor roll of those who served in World War II. and a memorial honoring those who served during Vietnam. Scrolling back over to the White Bronze Civil War Monument and American Revolution Monument. With a lovely cannon 
can't quite make out the markings on the front of the cannon. But that's a quick look at the Civil War Monument in Belchertown, Massachusetts.